Skip, I can't, I can't see anything with these. This is insane. I don't, how they, how they even gonna have? Will you see the sun with it or? I don't know. Are you ready, Skip? All right, let's go. Hey everybody, my name is Clark Pickens. I'm the head nut here at friendsofsquirrels.org and uh, this is where we answer all your squirrel questions. Happy to do so. And uh, today our question comes from uh, Cassie Hole, and she asks, do squirrels know about the eclipse? And if so, how do they prepare? That's a very timely question, uh, Cassie, and uh, we will get to that right after our sponsor. Our sponsor this week is Corn, bag of corn, bag of corn. We got, we got lots of corn here, as you can see. Uh, always, always got lots of corn on hand, especially in the, the summer uh, months. We uh, put this out; it's like candy to the to squirrels. They love, they love their corn. Oh, it's really hard. I don't know what they do to this corn to make it so hard. They must soak it in sugar or something. They love it. Mm, I would. Have you ever eaten one of these, Skip? You ever bite in? No. Anyway, if you uh, want to get the same corn we use here at the refuge, you can go over to uh, friendsofsquirrels.org slash sponsors and uh, just uh, click on the big old uh, bag of corn. I'm going to put mine back over here. <sighs> it's good stuff. Anyway, all right, so back to the question. Uh, everyone around here is uh, all getting fit to be tied about this whole solar eclipse thing. Evidently, it's a real big deal. Uh, from what they tell me, uh, the likelihood of a single point on Earth seeing a complete solar eclipse only is supposed to happen once every 357 years so there are millions of millions and millions of people coming in our area because uh, we're like one of the first places where it's going to happen and uh so uh yeah pretty exciting right i got my you got to have your uh, safety glasses to do this evidently if you're going to stare right at the sun now when i put these on i was telling skip earlier i cannot see jack to squat not even we got some pretty bright lights in here for the for the studio and uh i can't even see that so i don't even know i can't imagine i'm gonna have to take these out into the sun and see uh see just what happens i'm gonna take these off for a minute so uh anyway but the question is what about the squirrels do the squirrels know what's going on well uh they won't immediately uh what's going to happen actually you know what we should do is bring out uh professor clark to answer that question you stay right there. There we go. <laughs> There's my old uh, old uh, lab coat from uh, in college, and I like to put it on sometimes. It makes it look smart. Uh, got, you got me with stethoscope, which actually this one is too big uh, for squirrels, but um, makes me look smarter anyway. So anyway, uh, here's what's going to happen when the uh, when the sun gets blocked out. Squirrels and most all animals actually it's what's going to happen. They're going to get in it's, They can't even control it, right? It's going to click in Nighttime, right? So nocturnal animals are going to start coming out the day animals Diurnals are going to start going to bed um, The uh, squirrels are going to start calming down. They're going to start going to bed and then Boom, they're going to start waking up again. It's going to be like this crazy shock to the system. We're going to hear uh, the birds like we would in the morning. We're going to hear uh, all the all the sounds you would in the for I got something in my eye. We, uh, uh, we got, we're going to have all of that happening. It's going to be like a, a, a like a magical time. So uh, if you can get yourself to the um, to the midline of the eclipse, you're going to see some incredible things. Uh, now make sure. Make sure, uh, you, well, again, I'm talking humans, but if you get these glasses, make sure that they're the NASA ones and not the, the ones from China. You'll burn your eyeballs out. Um, but the squirrels, uh, yeah, they're going to get, they're just going to mess with their heads, right? So they're going to, they're going to do their nightly thing, right? They're going to, they're going to uh, pack in any of the nuts or whatever. And it's, it's weird too, because it's at like 10 o'clock in the morning here. So they're going to have just been probably being active for like four hours. And then it's a good time to be going back to bed. They're going to be really, really, really confused. They're going to be, uh, at about that time in the morning, they've probably gone out on their first uh, foraging run and are bringing that back. Uh, and then it's time to stop for the day. And they're going to they're going to start to just chill out. Their heart rate is going to drop. The air outside is going to cool several degrees, you know, when the sun goes away, uh, just like it would in the evening. And uh, 
these animals uh, and then of course when it comes up it's like oh brand new day brand new day <laughs> and the, the 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 forest is going to come to life it's going to it's going to be so i think it's going to be so magical i'm really i'm skipping our we've been talking about this i you can tell i'm a little bit excited but skipping i've been uh, talking about this for a while uh what we're going to do like how we're going to uh observe the squirrels because we've never had anything like that right here at the refuge before so it's going to be pretty exciting and uh anyway it's a great question they don't know what's coming but they're gonna act like uh, it's it's nighttime, then it's morning time, and then uh, they're gonna be so confused. So uh, it's gonna be really, really cool. And I guess, and I've never been in one, but you know, just from the research we've been doing, you f it's it 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 moves you. It's like an event that really like touches your soul and you really gets right into your heart. And uh, so that 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 part right there is a uh, just I'm you know butter my buns and call me a biscuit. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about it. So. Anyway, uh, Professor Clark says it's going to be like nighttime for the squirrels and they're going to go to bed and they're going to wake up in the morning real quick. So, um, Anyway, uh, that hope, hopefully, uh, Cassie, uh, that uh, answers your question. And uh, let's, uh, let's get on to the, we got a great photo this week. Um, but before we get to that, we need to get to the Patreons. Oh, I should take this off. Hopefully, uh, Skip did a little movie magic there and pop me in, pop me out. Uh, before we get to the patrons, I just wanted to uh, thank uh, you know our our uh, Patreon folks. We got uh, we got Aaron and uh, Buffy and Shelby and uh, Pamela and uh, Anna and uh, and Chris. Chris, those are all our our our, our friends of squirrels. And uh, so, if you'd like to become a, a friend of squirrel and uh, get your name on that prestigious list, you can go right over here to the. Uh, Patreon.com slash Clark Pickens and uh, help us out on the show and become a, a super, super friend of squirrels. So uh, we'd appreciate that. Uh, so here's the photo. This comes from uh, John Dutt. This is a picture of a very hot squirrel and it, it has been hot around here. Uh, it's been in the hundreds. So uh, we, well, I understand that squirrel. Boy, he just looks like he's had a long day and it is just fit to be ticked. You know what I mean? So uh, get that squirrel some water, John. He needs a nice drink, maybe put the hose out. We get one of those Mr. Tips. Mr. Tips. That's what they used to call me in uh, college. Mr. Tips. Uh, learn something every day. So anyway, thank you for your photo. If you've got a photo you want to send us, you can send it to Clark at friendsofsquirrels.org. Uh, if you have a question for us, you can send it to the same place. Uh, you can also put it in the comments below and we will uh, pick that up. That's where this uh, question from uh, Casey came from. Casey? Cassie? Uh, Miss Hole. I'll get your name right eventually, and uh, and that's how we saw that. So and you, uh, we recommend you uh, if you got people thinking about the eclipse or whatever, share this uh, uh, video on your uh, face page, and that we appreciate it. So that's everything for this time. My name is Clark Pickens. I'm the head nut here at FriendsOfSquirrels.org. It was weird. It was weird putting that uh, coat on again in the stethoscope. I should actually listen to your heart. Do you even have a heart, Skip? <laughs>